So he asked question six for us to solve this. Now, what are we going to do here? It's still the same thing. You're asked to just separate X and Y. Separate X and Y. So what do we do? It's actually easy. First of all, I want us to cross multiply. So we should do this easily. So this will become, remember that X, Y is going to be with the top. So this is X, Y multiplied by Y plus 1 dy equal this and this go together so this is x squared plus one dx that's what we're going to be having so this is it okay now what's the next thing we're going to do we're going to divide by what are we going to divide by now see this is dy right so everything here should only have y so right now this is x it needs to go so this is x then how about this very side this is perfectly okay. We have no problem with this. So we're just going to be divided by x. So we have xy, y plus 1 dy equal to x squared plus 1 dx. So we're going to divide this by x, then divide this by x. So this and this will go away. What is left here will become y into y. So I will say that this is just y squared plus y dy equals, so now how about this, I have to divide this, so this is x squared divided by x is x plus 1 divided by x dx. Okay, now what's the next thing I have to do here? I need to integrate both sides because I am done with expressing in terms of y and x. So let's integrate both sides. Now what is the integral of y squared? That will become y cubed divided by 3 plus y squared divided by 2. Remember that this is 1. So when you say 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, then divided by 2. Equal to how about x? This is x2 divided by 2 plus, when you integrate 1 over x, you're going to have ln x. And then plus c. Please, that's your answer. Just leave it that way. There's nothing you can do there. You can just do a whole bunch of so many things, but just leave it that way. So question seven. Okay, so here's question seven. I will ask to solve this very question. Now the first thing we're gonna do is remember x and y. So this will become x. I'm gonna solve this in a much better see how we do. So this is x dy dx equals what would this be? I'm going to say that y is common here. So this is y into y over y is 1 plus xy over y is um, x. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do here is to multiply by dx. So let dx come here. So this is x dy equal y into 1 plus x dx. You can do this. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do here is I need only y to be here. So it means this x has to go away. So I have to divide by x. So what else should I divide by? If you look at this very side, what is not making x to be the only term here? Y. So I have to divide by x, y. So divide by x, y. This is x dy divided by x, y equal to y into 1 plus x dx divided by x, y. So x we can slot x, y we can slot y. So we're left with dy divided by y equal to, now separate this, this is 1 over x, 1 over x plus x over x is 1, and then dx. So the next I'm going to do here is to integrate both sides. So take the integral of this and the integral of this. Now what this be, remember this is 1. So the integral of 1 over y with respect to y is going to be ln y equal integral of 1 over x with respect to x is ln x then integral of 1 is just x and then plus c now can i take the ln this very ln to this very side yes i can do so so this is ln y take away ln x equal x plus c now remember that when you're subtracting in logarithms you need to divide the um, functions of numbers so this is ln y over x equal to x plus c. There's nothing you can do here, so that will be the answer. Or you can say 
That's why divided by x is equal to e exponential x plus c. If you wish to do so, you can say x plus c. So this will become y divided by x equal to e to the power of x. Before you add, when you add two powers, it means you are multiplying. So this is e to the power of what? c. Now e to the power of c is also a constant. So let us just say it's a. So this is y divided by x equals, let this be a. So this is a e to the power of x. And now, this is y divided by x. How do we clear the division by x? We simply multiply both sides by x. So this is y equal a x e x. And that's the answer. So that's what you're going to be getting. Interesting. Next, question 8. So this question 8, we're asked to solve y times x dy dx equals 4 plus y squared 6 squared x. So what do we do in this case? It's still the same thing. You need to separate the x from the y. So let us do this. Let us separate x from y. Now, um, first of all, take this dx here so that there will be no fractions anymore. So this is y times x dy equal 4 plus y squared sec squared x dx. Interesting. So right now, what am I going to do next? This is y, this side should just be y, meaning this tan x should not be here. Tan x should not be here. And this very side should just be x, so it means this 4 plus y squared should not be here. So it means I'm going to divide both sides by what? By tan x and then 4 plus what? y squared. Okay, it's better I wrote it this way. So before you think these two are multiplying, they're actually not multiplying, please. This is just an x, and then this is separate. Okay, so let us do this. So what's going to happen? This is going to become y tan x dy divided by... Okay, I'm going to put this first. So avoid 4 plus y squared, to avoid confusion, tan x, and then equal to 4 plus y squared sec squared x dx divided by 4 plus y squared tan x. Okay, so tan x we cancel out tan x, 4 plus y squared we cancel out 4 plus y squared. So what's going to remain here will become y divided by 4 plus y squared dy equal, what will be left will become sec squared x divided by tan x dx. Good. This is indeed beautiful. So let us continue. Now looking at the way this expression is, we have to now integrate both sides. So let us integrate both sides of this expression. And let us know what the value is going to be. So we're going to be having the integral of y divided by 4 plus y squared dy equal integral of sec squared x divided by tan x of dx. Okay, so that's what we have. Interesting. Now let us see. Remember that we will have quotients, we will have quotients. The first thing we try to figure out, the first thing we try to think of is, if I look at this integral, you need to know how to integrate very well. So go back to integration, please. If I look at this integral, if I differentiate this denominator, I am actually going to be getting the numerator in a way. Look, when you differentiate 4 is 0, so it's not important. When you differentiate y squared, you're going to get 2y. Now, y is already at the top, but the 2 is not there, right? Good. So since the 2 is not there, since the 2 is not there, the first thing you want to know is, first thing I want to do here is this. You know I can say 1 times anything is what that same thing, right? So it's not a problem. 1 times anything is that same thing. Okay, good. Now, if you differentiate y squared, you need to have a 2y at the top for us to be able to use lean. Because that's the, okay, let me write it here. The integral of f prime of x divided by f of x dx is equal to ln f of x plus c. So this is a rule in integration. If you can differentiate the denominator to get the numerator, 
you just say this is the link of that denominator, so it's a rule. However, if it differentiates and the numerator does not exactly have it, you need to do everything algebraically possible to get it. So I am trying to manipulate this, so let us manipulate it together. And this is y squared. If I should differentiate twice, I'm going to get 2. So I need 2 by 2 here, but the 2, the 2 is just the point, just in 2. So you can manipulate 2, it's just a number. So I'm going to put 2 here, I'm going to times by 2. Now, there was no multiplication by 2. I by myself did the multiplication by 2. So how do I counter what I just did? I will then divide by what? 2. Now I divide by 2 and multiply by 2 is still the same thing because division by 2, multiplication by 2 is still going to give me 1. And 1 times anything is that same thing. So this is correct. So right now I can see that this is 1 over 2, this is 1 over 2. After differentiating the denominator, I can now get the numerator. So this will become lean 4 plus y squared. Interesting. Okay, and this will equal, how about this next part? This is easier. If we should integ integrate this very function. Tan x, how does this behave? When you differentiate tan x, you simply get sec squared x. So you do not have an issue with this because the derivative of tan x will simply give you the top. So it follows this very rule. So I'll say this is lean of tan x plus c. So that's what, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, okay. Now I can decide to leave my answer like this. And believe me, I want to leave my answer like that. So that's what the answer is going to be. That is what the answer is going to be. Let us say you wish to, you know, do something to this. Let us see. Since we already have two lean, I can actually manipulate the C to give me a lean. So let us do this together. So we need to multiply by 2, right? Because this is 1 over 2. So let us multiply by 2. This will become lean 4 plus y squared equal to 2 lean tan x plus, you know, this would have been 2c. But uh, I'm just going to put it. So this is lean 4 plus y squared equal to, now I can take these two to this very side. I can take the 2 inside. So this is lean tan squared x. It's going to be transcribed. Remember, then already when this 2 is coming back at the top, it's going to become a power. So this is tan square x. And then plus, I'm going to call lean, this very 2, so I'm going to call it lean a. It can become lean a actually. Okay, so this is lean 4 plus y squared equal to, now these two expressions are both having lean and there's an addition. So what do I need to do? I need to multiply the numbers. This is lean a tan squared x. So finally, they both have lanes they can cancel out. So this becomes 4 plus y squared equal to a tan squared x. Now I can take the 4 to this very side. So this becomes y squared equal a tan squared x. Take away 4. So that becomes the answer. And that brings us to the end of this very video separation of variables. Let us look at the third method of solving differential equations. See you in the next video.